Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube video. Um, it's actually been a very long time. I think I done a room tour last in 2000. I did a room tour in 2016, a room tour in 2020. So it's been about two years. So I thought I need to do another room tour, which uh, I should have probably made a video a while ago because I actually at the end of uh, in between about Christmas 2021 and about January 15th this year, uh, my room got done up. So when we go in my room, you wonder is that it's uh, much much uh, emptier than last time with much more floor space but I promise you it's just the same size it's just um, taking things out uh, things being put in you'll see the new wallpaper uh, I don't think that was there last time or maybe it was I uh, maybe maybe uh, it's been about two but anyway yeah point being it's been about two over two years I thought it's about time to another room tour um, of course this is linked to mostly history because most of my room is history hence why I said I've done my room up a bit of James Bond as well so yeah good stuff that I enjoy which I'll definitely enjoy making the video so yeah let's start the room tour so yeah this is my um, door um not much to say about it really it just yeah it doesn't need any introduction really does it it's just this took a very long time to make I didn't even actually make it did I it's not like I, I didn't actually draw this uh Russian World War II soldier for example printed it out I did make I made this this uh, I made this I made this this everything in pencil I did and this, I did that. Everything like pencil bit of paper I did. So yeah, just a door with absolutely everything on it. You've got World War One, World War Two, everything. Just, yeah, all the way down to the bottom. This is actually the, ah, ah that's actually Cold War. Uh, well, bit of World War Two, 1943. Oh, okay, so it's still World War Two really, but linked to Cold War. Two little Lego minifigures I found. Uh, Lego minifigure of a British soldier, Lego minifigure of an Indian soldier, Battle of the Bulge. The three main battles, of course, rather one for done. The Song and Passchendaele. I'm actually recording this on July 1st, which is the day while well, uh, the Battle of the Song started in 1916. That's really nice. Uh, yeah, that's my door. Um, uh, now if you enter my bedroom, I am doing this in 0.5 uh, camera lens, that's why it feels slightly like I've got a massive camera. Uh, when I don't. Anyway, so this is uh, the first bit of bedroom. Of course, this was not here last time. This was, I can't remember what it used to be. It was just like loads of books. Uh, nothing interesting, really. So yeah, I made this is now my, I've labeled them all as well. It's very professional. Yeah, World War One and World War Two soldiers and aircraft. So yeah, these are all the aircraft. We've got British Supermarine, Dunkirk. I modified this slightly. I've made some new, st uh, took some stickers off, put some more. Yeah, well, I say modified. I just didn't put some stickers on. That's Dunkirk. Supermarine Spitfire. Avrelio Lancaster, D-Day Spitfire, these are actually uh, for just naval camouflage, even though they never were camouflaged, D-Day P-51D Mustang, normal standard P-51D Mustang, nothing specific, specific. and a uh, typical B-109E Metterschmidt uh, from Germany, uh, some bits of information about them, has it just gone dark or is it just me? Could just be me anyway yeah there's information about the mystic uh, two rulers uh british planes on one side german planes on the other and then if we just move the mustang out of the way these are all the soldiers these took quite a long time to make you have to make them all by hand the hands don't go on so yeah 12 not by by two plus that's 24 like 28 hands i have to put on plus all the guns these are the slobber army so you've got French, English, Chinese, Soviet, and American soldiers, so they're very, very good. Um, yeah. Above that, we have my James Bond poster, which I got when I was four years old. And then, of course, on either side, we've got World War One poster. Absolutely love this poster. And World War Two poster, again, absolutely love it. It is just amazing and brilliant. So yeah, those are the two posters. I nearly missed this bit, but yeah, these are just some key battles from World War One and World War Two, which again, I had to write that out by hand while on the computer and print it out of all the pictures. And I have gone back to one time Zulem, so hopefully the quality is slightly more 4K compared to 1080p 60. Uh, anyway, if we move over here, this is just general stuff, you know, pastime, you know, not really politics, my revision timetable. Um, yeah, any discrimination. Mental health, yeah, pretty good here. Mental health and discrimination. Um, 
total quality and derived velocity, suicide prevention symbol, um, no politics, just British, and an anger iceberg for mental health. And then more key battles. It's not the only thing Russia's invading at the moment. Italian soldiers. I can't can actually name them all, but Italian soldiers, Battle of Jutland, uh, RAF symbol, American symbol, Battle of Capriato, austria hungarian and Italian soldiers. Uh, that's actually my lock screen, how can I not? Uh, that's actually my, sorry, WhatsApp profile photo. And the Battle of Passchendaele, November the 10th, 1917. Uh, French soldiers in Morocco, 1907. Boer War, 1902. Uh, 1901, sorry. And then Soviet plane in 1942. Yeah, Bol we have still got Bowl War in uh, French Cross and Morocco as well. Bowl War is still very important. Uh, German any war in history really was. Um, up above there we've got Hague. Um, I made, I done that in year nine. Um, yeah, what, uh, World War II timeline. Done that in year nine. Done that in year six. Uh, done that, uh, that's something I've done as well by Lord Kitchener. Um, map of the world, just after World War II. And then the final, Key battles. Those are the most key battles. YouTube awards. I'm very grateful for these 50,000, 10,000, 100,000 views. Uh, my drum kit, all my cricket set. Um, yeah, well, that's actually well. Okay, this is actually going. I thought it was going to drag on a bit, but this is enough. Just some stuff my friends give me if I've got clips over the years. So I can't forget about that. That's my calendar where I write all my what I'm going to be doing for YouTube on them. That's just my bedside table. Those are my reviews. I may, I'm going to do another video on these. These are quite good. All my Swiss Army knives. I reviewed them. Everything in my room you've probably already seen in my videos. So, yeah, my drum kit you've already seen. Um, this is my little James Bond section. The box and... In this box I actually have more... Oh no, I'm going to ruin my poster. Anyway, I know I also have my some DVDs. But, um, yeah, I put these in here. Because... I don't need them because I bought the pole collection with the proper spines and everything. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll keep these obviously. I'm a collector. And then we'll just put these back. Here we have a World War One aircraft um, poster, and this plane here is actually the Gotha and the Handley 0400. Um, yeah, are actually massive, bit much bigger planes than you actually think. About 130 foot wood for wingspan. I've had that since I was four. And yeah, that's the same, but for World War II, just got some stickers up here. Lord Kitchener, Slobin Army, British posters, First World War. And then here we've got two cars, which I never use. Um, I need to change that, it's now July. Here we have the World War I and World War II boxes. So we have the planes. All the army figures here, keep all the boxes, my badge, and then that, so yeah. Here we have the James Bond collection, very good. I just need a few more DVDs, I just need Die Another Day, um, and the final two Daniel Craig films, so no time like Quantum of Solace, that's the James Bond section. Here are all of my World War 1 and World War 2 films. Yeah, we've got all in chronological order, of course. Blackadder Goes Forth, 1917, Journeys and Gandhi, Of Mice Men, Inner Jones, Last Crusade, Dark Star, Dunkirk, Carrie's War, Born Drop Dharmas, Way Eagles There, Midway, Cinder's List, Battle of River Plate, Great Game and Saving Private Ryan. Uh, just that, yeah, not interesting. Uh, World 1 and World War 2 revision books, I should probably get rid of that shelf. Uh, not the shelf, the shelf above, I don't really do any Harry Potter, I'm not quite sure I have it really. Just The, the books are quite good though. Uh, yeah, these are World 1 and World 2 revision books. These are just all the things. This is just my whole knowledge section. Everything I know because of history is in this section. I just need to get the World War 2 book and still need stuff to buy. Um, yeah, I've already, I've already shown you these. Just my revision guides. Well, that book is amazing. This book right here is the most amazing book ever. I'm reading this on Roald Dahl's Going Solo. It's a pretty good book, actually. And then here we just have some more school revision uh yeah so that's pretty much it at the end of the video that's just my room my little snapchat of course I go everything in detail in separate videos uh which will be coming out soon history videos and james bond videos um yeah that's uh, that's the video i hope you enjoyed it i just missed out these stickers these 
I hope I can let's do this again. Lewis Gunn, World War I British propaganda, like Vickers Machine Gun, Burma Soldiers, 1942, uh, Western, Front 19, uh, Western Front 1918, French Army, World War I, uh, 2nd of May 1945, Third Valley above the Reichstag, Battle of Luz, 1915, 1st of Cloying Gas, British Army, World War II, uh, Little Willy, uh, Mark III, 1918, uh, War Horse, 1916, and Midway, 1942. Okay, uh, yeah, that's, sorry, that's, uh, that's the room. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I thought I'd been very unprofessional in the video, but it's just my room. I mean, there's a lot to say about it. Um, yeah, that's what the whole shelf looks like as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please subscribe and like. Um, it really does help me out a lot. Um, of course, like I said, if you do like World War One and World War Two, of course, all this will be going much more detail um, recently because I am moving the channel much more towards just history videos and James Bond. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.